Hey guys, we're back in another video. Today I'm gonna film my cobalt blue cichlid. So I used to have like about 30 of these African cichlids. Not only cobalt blue, but different types of Mambuna cichlids. But all of them died because at that time I didn't know how aggressive cichlids was. So um, today I'm just gonna show you guys uh, my cichlid. Because I've never shown you guys my fishes in a long time. So, um, yeah, so as you can see, when he gets frightened, he um, gets stripes on his body so that the um, targets will go away and get frightened. But um, he is scared of the phone. So, um, I push, so as you can see, he moves all the rocks from here and pushed it here. And then he put his little shark thingy over there. But he goes into hide and he put these two plants here to block up the entrance so that we wouldn't see it. Then um, he put this plant there and he pushed that rock there and put all these rocks on top here. And I was the one who put in that live bamboo plant there because this filter cuts off really easy. So in case um filter is not working, he can get oxygen from this bamboo plant. So um, yeah, this is the food I feed him, is um, koi toilets, and I also feed him um, some of these um, little goldfish toilets. They're really small. They're really small toilets. This one's right here. So, that's pretty much what I feed him every day. Every day. And, um,. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this guy. So I'm gonna show you my um, fighter, sorry, semi fighter fish now. My or oh, some people might call it beta fish. So let's take a quick, quick look at this. By the way, this is one of my favorite cichlids. This is it. This is my favorite cichlid. So we've got here my clown tail fighter. Let's get some light in this in the next aquarium. So as you can see, I put some rocks here for him to hide. He, he goes in there to sleep at night. He usually be here in the day. And, um, well, he comes here when he feels to hide. And he usually rests in top here. So that's pretty much it. I know this enclosure is very small for him. But um, it will work for him. So moving on to my half moon. Made of fish. Put this back in the middle, so like and um, yeah, he's quite in the back. Maybe I can come on, come on, put my finger here. Great. So he's not mature yet, so he does not have his colors. But this, he has a pretty good bowl. I think it's a one gallon, and he has a height, so he has a pretty good enclosure. So this is his girlfriend. I bought this not too long ago, and well. Um, she's doing really fine. I, she does not have a hide. That that rock was supposed to be her hide, but she study, but she study um hitting it down. So I guess she does not want to say hide. And um, yeah, so I'm just waiting for this male to build a nest at the top, which um, looks like bubbles at the top of the water, for so I can put her in to make the eggs. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this area of my aquarium. Well, my um, place that I have fishes. Now, let's move on to the 160 gallon, I believe. Okay, see you there. So, we are here at my 160 gallon. So, um, as you can see, there are, plenty, there are enough fish inside here. We still have to buy more, but that's all we have right now. <laughs> right. So the filter is not working because the water is too low. As you can see, there is a big space here for the water to be. Um, the water is pretty dirty, so we have to do a water change. And um, we're going to have to fill the water up straight here. So I might be filming when we are changing the water in this tank. So um, you guys can see what it's like. So what I'm pretty much going to do is empty the water until here, where the fish can swim and survive. 
and then shake and then fill it up. And then when we finish that, we're gonna clean the filter and then shake up the rocks and then put, fill the back in. And when the filter pick up pick ups all the um dirty dirtiness from the rocks, we'll clean it back again. So that's pretty much how you clean the aquarium. And sometimes we take out the plants and the and the castle and uh, we scrub down. Give it a quick scrub. So yeah, I guess that's the end of this video. Oh wait, let me do an intro on all my fishes. So this is an iridescent shark, which can reach up to 3 feet long. This is a um, normal goldfish, um, with a red dot on his head. These are crown goldfish, I believe. They, they had, their heads got really big. This is an angelfish, and this is one of my favorite fishes in the stand. And um, we have got a tiger bat. All the rest of tiger bats died out because they fought, fight, fought. And um, we've got more crown goldfishes, I believe. And we've got two of these sharks. One is hiding inside the castle. And we got this black goldfish. And we've got all those koi at the back. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this tank, I think. Oh, and let me show you guys how to turn the air. So I just need to pick it up with this. Put my finger in. Look at that. The goldfish. All the goldfish are trained, but since they've got a special feeding time, so I will film a video today when I'm feeding it. Hi, this is my baby sister. I'm making a video. So yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoy. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it, a thumbs up if you don't, and subscribe to the notification bell. And hope you guys enjoy this video. See you in the next video. Peace.